explain a little bit about each of these? Sure, so what we've got here is what we're calling our mini drones. Yeah. Yeah. Where'd the idea come from? Why'd you guys decide to really kind of hone in on that market? So we've seen that really that the consumer products is where it's at, and although we've been very successful at the $300 price point, for us, we wanted to bring some drone style products to the younger demographics. This is our mini drone rolling spider. So this is a very simple compact flying helicopter. It's controlled again from a smart device, whether it be an iPhone uh, or an iOS device, tablet or smartphone. The other product we have is the jumping sumo. This is very, very unique, different to anything else on the market at the moment. This doesn't fly, it drives, again, controlled by a smart device. This one does have a front um, wide angle camera on it and it will stream live video back to your control device. But one of the most unique features about this product is it jumps up to two and a half feet. Primarily to date, people have liked the toy aspect of the drone. And also when you can it. Parrot's really focused on building the consumer space as well as getting more advanced in that commercial space. So you may see some of those commercial features again come down to our consumer products. This is cool because it embeds all of the technology of the larger drones in such a small, compact and well-priced uh, product at $99. When we look at the technology, is it just that it got cheaper which enables you guys to bring down the, the price point? Yeah, absolutely. Plus the Bluetooth technology in this is a little bit cheaper than Wi-Fi technology. But as we progress, everything gets cheaper. So what we can do today compared to four years ago when we released our first drone is significantly different. So you can provide a lot more technology at a much reduced price.